in my entire lifetime, my earnings from playing guitar amounts to exactly $49 on eight occasions that collectively have added up to that much. I don't claim to be a professional guitar player, but I can play guitar and banjo, five-string banjo and mandolin. But I started to play in 1963 as a college freshman, and I got my first guitar. Two years later, in 1965, while I was a student at University of Chicago, I got a call from Pete Liebenguth at the Fret Shop in Harper Court, which is a little shopping area, walking distance, about half a mile from campus. And he told me that he had a beginning guitar class, 10 students, and the teacher, Carmi Simon, was out sick and could I fill in? Well, I'd only been playing for two years. And I told that to Pete, he says, don't worry, these are kids who are just starting. You know, they've been playing for about six months. You've been playing for two years. I need somebody to fill in and I'll give you $10. Well, $10 in 1965 had as much, if not more, buying power than 100 has today. But keep in mind that that was also 55 years ago, more than half century. My shop's been open now for 50, 50 and one half years, started in January 1970. At any rate, I filled in. I arrived at the class, met the students, and they were mostly kids who were 10 or 12 years old. Uh, and I said, well, show me what you've been doing. I'm filling in today because Carmi is sick, but in order for me to help, I need to know where are you at? What you've been doing? And they showed me these fancy little arpeggio finger picking patterns that I didn't know how to do. And uh, so I said, well, how many of you ever used a flat pick? And right now I've got a thumb pick and a finger pick. That's the way Maybell Carter did it for doing. But I decided, no, we're not going to do that for the kids. That's, this is a style that most people don't do. So I, finger pick is easy enough, but um, that's not what I did. I told them to get out flat picks. So they didn't have flat picks, but we had plenty at the store there where they were getting their lessons. So I got 10 flat picks, gave each one of them a flat pick. And they said, none of them ever played with one before. Well, here's a flat pick. I told them you hold it like that, and then you can strum. <laughs> They could find that was not too hard for them to do. They could figure that out. Something new, but they could do it. And I said, you all know the, co the chords in the key of C. And yeah, they, got, they had gotten that far. So they, they knew C, E7, and F. It's actually one of the easiest keys to play in for a beginner because Well, have any of you ever done uh, alternating basses and strum? Nope. Well, here it is. So they practiced that for five minutes or so, and they could do that. And I said, have you ever done hammer-ons? Nope. I said, well, here's the scale and the key of C. Now, if you can do that, and you can do alternating basses, and you can do hammer-ons, you can take any tune that you can hum 
and you can figure out how to play it yourself. Have any of you ever done that before? Oh no, all they'd ever had was rote memorization exercises where they would practice one picking pattern and then come back the next week and show that and then they'd be shown one other pattern and none of them had ever been taught that you could improvise a tune or that if you knew a tune that you could pick it out or that you could compose a tune. So I said, well, you can do that. See, if you just play a tune. anything more than what I just showed you. So all you need is... three did. You can pretty much do what Bob Dylan did and what Johnny Cash did. You can play country tunes and you can pick out most any tune. If you can hum the tune, you can play it. And all the notes are there. And you notice we didn't even leave the first three frets. And uh, Harlan Howard, one of the greatest songwriters in Nashville history, said there's no money past the third fret. There's a lot of stuff up there. But if you he had a guitar with three frets. He had all the others pulled out to emphasize the point. And that's what he composed a lot of his tunes on. But the point is, there's a whole world of material right there in those first three frets with just strums, alternating bass, hammer-ons, pull-offs, pull -offs, and the scale. And you too can play. <laughs> You can make a career out of just that. And then if you do that, then you can expand and you can learn other keys. start in one simple key. C. So everything that I taught them could be condensed into one minute. Here it is. That's it. 